are on our four days four countries tour thanks to rutsoka tours and travels we started in zimbabwe we've gone to namibia we are in botswana and currently getting into zambia this is day three stay tuned in because i am super excited there's just so much to show you guys so when you get here at the border Ah, this truck is so noisy. I don't know if you guys can hear me. So you have to disinfect your shoes. See, you guys are getting their shoes back. Because why are we disinfecting our shoes? Put them out, Yeah, I, I, I didn't even know what that is, but <laughs> now you know. Crossing from Zimbabwe to Botswana, we had to do it, uh -huh. and now crossing from Botswana to Zambia. Zambia, we are doing it as well. So that's something you should have in mind. Guys, we are officially in Zambia fourth country we did it we did it man it's amazing i know man. i'm scared but i'm ready i'm gonna face my fear what one thing i'm looking forward to doing here in zambia is going to the devil's pool oh day four good morning day four i'm waking up from zambia we started in zimbabwe we went to botswana yo we went to namibia and now i'm in zambia this is incredible we are in this very beautiful resort and it's very unique you know in the morning you can actually get a chance to see wildlife right over there we just seen an elephant coming to take water it's incredible it's like yo where am i it's like you're getting an opportunity it's like you're going for a game drive but not really you're in a resort oh wow there it is Oh, there are some helicopters up there. Those ones are... Um, that's the Vic Falls. Are we far from the Vic Falls? No, 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 no. We are not far from Victoria Falls? Yes. Oh, nice. They're flying over the falls. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, that should give you perspective. Just, just here. Yeah. There is a helicopter. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, I thought the, the trunk is like a straw. It's not sucking the water. It's taking the water and putting it in the mouth. Mm -hmm. See, it's now it's putting it in the mouth. I'm about to have my breakfast now. Um, it, it's, I'm going to show you guys the room. But right now, I just want to start uh, having my breakfast. And then, uh, yeah, we go to the devil's pool. That's one thing I'm really looking forward to doing today. Going to the devil's pool. So, I've been told there's an argument between Zimbabweans and zambia people from zambia how do you call zambians zambians correct about where victoria falls belongs to so please drop a comment let me know where does victoria falls really belong to and then also where do you get the best view of the victoria falls so we viewed it uh on the zimbabwe side today we are going to be having a view on the zambia side so i'm very excited but first let's have breakfast so My dad and I usually like these things. We call them brocks in Kenya. Oh, it's right like cake, but it's hard. It's so uh -huh, good, uh -huh. it's especially with hot tea. So finally having breakfast, and the most unique thing about this place is that you have breakfast right next to the river. Yeah. So you can see hippos. You can see crocodiles. You can see elephants. These are just what we've seen so far. But I'm sure, you know, maybe even antelopes come to take water by the river. So it's incredible. The breeze is fantastic. And uh, you can see the sun is shining for me this morning. I'm seated in the sun because I just want to soak it all in. You can hear the helicopters. That tells you um, the Victoria Falls is not far from here. When I tell you we're in the middle of nature, this is what I mean. Uh, look at this i hadn't seen them up to now i don't know where they were hiding suddenly they are so many hey monkeys what's up how you guys doing many of them are under the oh, oh, is gonna hit me oh my god it's coming oh. yes they are scared with men they love women you see is it you didn't know that women or they like like uh they are not intimidated by women Ah, I should think so. Because they know that women, they can't chase them. Yeah, right. <laughs> so I'm like, yo, we are both women. <laughs> Guys. So I have learned something that I think is very interesting. Uh, hi. Hello. 
What's your name? My name is Tanya. So Tanya is from Zimbabwe, but look at her hair. It looks really, really good. And she's told me that she crosses over from Zimbabwe to Zambia to do her hair. I'm like, what? Why? <laughs> Black Zambians are very good and they are very talented, especially the lady that does my hair. Shout out to Mildred. She's very, very good. Yeah. And then you said it's also affordable to do it's your hair in very Zambia. Affordable to do it in Zambia. You see, if you change dollars to kwacha, it's more like two hundred and fifty to be like about ten to twelve dollars. And in Zimbabwe it's more it's more like about they charge about twenty, twenty five dollars to do not less with. So So it's less than So I was just wondering uh, do you guys know that if you live in Zimbabwe, do you usually cross over to Zambia to just make your hair or have you just learned something new? If, if that's the case, then you're welcome. If not, well, now you know. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. I mean, and then apparently she told me they don't need uh, passports to cross over from Zimbabwe to Zambia. They just need their national ID and they're good to go. So if you're the kind of person who loves the wildlife and being in nature, this is the kind of place that will fascinate you. Because right behind me is my room. And it's not just a normal room like everywhere else. It is a tent. And it's not just a tent, it's a luxury tent. So I want to give you guys a tour. Uh, I love how you can sit out here. You can sit out here, you know, enjoy the view actually you could sit here and see the elephants coming to drink water the giraffes the antelopes it gives you a very clear view to the place um or you can have a meal seated here you and your bay anyway are you guys even ready come here welcome to my luxury tent come in so first thing you notice is sufficient lighting um, I've not switched on any lights, but you can see there's natural light flooding in this space. Maybe you're walking on your left, uh, you have this over here. It's like your little kitchen. You, you have your own tea, your coffee. Oh, I love the fact that they gave us some honey. And it's not just any honey. It's Zambezi gold. You know, made in Africa. So yeah, oh, this is, these are so cute. These sugar things. This is sugar, this is coffee. This is tea. Oh, what a cute kettle. Oh, it's okay. You know, sometimes the smallest details make a room stand out. So yeah, this is just very cute. Um, and you've got your fridge over here. You have your water, and you can put in your stuff, your food here as well. And here you have your sofa. I mean, so even if you don't want to go out, imagine sitting here. I can see the river straight. So imagine just chilling here. You know, you're reading your book, and then you're like, oh my god, a lion! It's in my closet. Um, this is where you put your clothes. You have your safe when you're here. So if you have some important documents, uh, you can put them in the safe. I'm feeling like I need to buy a safe for my house. Yeah, I love huge mirrors. Look at this mirror. Oh my God. Yeah, before you get out, you look at yourself head to toe. Make sure you're popping and then you step out with confidence. Okay. And then remember, the next time you stand here, tell yourself some positive affirmations, you know, like... Today is gonna be a great day. So yeah, that's what's up. And then here, hey, this room is actually very big. You have your bed. Yo, guys, the way this bed heats up at night. Yesterday night, it was chilly, but the moment I got into the bed, I, I dozed off until morning. Yo, so that's it. You've got your doom over here. This is to apply on your skin as an insect repellent, but I didn't even use it and they had no problem. You've got your AC up there. Oh, 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 guys. Yo, can we just take a minute to appreciate the light fixtures? Look at this, very unique. Ah, yeah, they went all out. When it comes to the light fixtures, they've really gone all out. And have you guys noticed that this is the shape of a boat? Talk about creativity. <laughs> Come with me, let me take you to the bathroom. So you've got your shower first thing here you have your shower um me yeah, i love taking long showers but if you love bathtubs don't worry you're sorted as well come in come in look at this bathtub yo if you want to chill in the bathtub like this guy you can just you know take your time in the bathtub i love the fact that i've got his and her sink 
yo and then it's very african look at this thing very unique this thing balls it, it's amazing i just love when resorts just embrace being african and go all out even you can see this wood it's very creative and there's this this bathroom is huge so it's huge yeah look at that light fixture makes this place look really really lovely okay guys so this is where i spent my night oh my gosh guys this is what i'm talking about see the hippos coming out of the river you guy my guy what are you talking about look at that oh it's like a mama hippo and a baby hippo oh this is so beautiful guys we are going to have lunch and guess what we come across elephants wow we are having lunch as well <laughs> this is so cool wow guys we get to see more elephants wow but elephants are always eating when you spot them you know it's crazy yeah. guys look at this train i'm being told it's called the dinner train so it takes people around from zambia to zimbabwe that's on the on the bridge on the Not bridge ah yeah. oh. so this is the same one you saw on the bridge yeah yes correct oh so nice the, uh, steam engine that kwacha 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 ah the old one like it's the ones there. in the movies yes oh so cool yeah. And now our grand grandfather was there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, it was under British colon. So one of the uh, these guys, the investors, yeah, they went to England and took to one of these guys. They said, no, we can provide you spare parts. Okay. So that's how they came to do it. To fix the train. Yeah, they fixed it. Everything was okay. They went to Zimbabwe. Came it was operating now. They said, let me open now. Uh, a dinner train. Oh, nice. You know, he's making money because he's charging per head 200 US. 200 US dollars per yeah. head? Yes. And uh, it's just from Zimbabwe to Zambia, or does no, it go from, to all the countries? Just on the bridge only. Okay. Every in the evening around five, starting from the, that side. Okay. That point to the bridge. Then from the bridge, come and pack in the bush, you have dinner now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Dinner for five hours. Dinner for five hours. Yeah. Oh wow. So like you know, like beer, but I drink those expensive beers uh -huh. to cover my mind. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. So I love too. how Zimbabwe and Zambia are collaborating together. Yeah. This neighbor countries are, are friendly, very yeah. friendly. What is the name of this mall here? In Sotonia Square. Guys, we are at Room Tosonia Square. There is shop right everywhere. This is the only shopping mall in Lusaka. In Livingstone. In Livingstone, I mean. Oh wow, okay. You see ShopRite, ShopRite is in every country in Southern Africa. And then you've got Hungry Lion. This is what brought us here. And the Bonias there. Oh, the Bonias as well. Yeah. Don't test me with the pizza, man. <laughs> Spend the day with me in Livingstone, Zambia. I have been to Lusaka, so I'm very excited to be in Livingstone. Yeah, the sun is out. It's popping. This is my dress. I got this in Miami. I think it's a really cute dress. I love it so much. I've worn it so many times and I'm still gonna keep wearing it. In fact, when I was buying it, they had a grey a color. I wish I took two because I wasn't sure how it was gonna look at, on me. Uh, I didn't test it. I just saw it and I was like, mm, I'm taking this dress. Then when I bought it, I was like, oh my god, such a cute dress. I should have bought the other one. But it was too late because I already left the US. But when I go back, I'm coming for you, Dressy. I hope you're still there. So it's so cute. I love the seat at the back. I've been used to using dollars. So we cross over to Zambia. I'm thinking we're gonna use dollars. So me, I'm here coming with my dollars to buy Hungry Lion. And then we get there, then they're like, they don't take dollars. They only have to take, they take kwacha only. I'm like, oh no, and I left my card, you know. Then this man randomly comes and he's like, oh, he's gonna pay. I'm like, what? Because I don't worry about it, I'll pay. I'm like, it's an act of kindness. I feel so blessed. And I feel like I have to pass it forward to someone. Like, he's like, I'll pay. I feel, and then he disappeared. It's like he didn't want any attention. I'm looking for him. I wanted to ask him, like, why did you do that? Is he a Christian? Like, oh my God, it's amazing. And I'm so grateful. <sighs> Just made me so emotional, you know? because it's kindness and sometimes we need to extend kindness to other people and i want to make people feel the way i'm feeling you know when someone is buying something i'm just like you know put it on my bill that's exactly what he did he said i'll put it on my bill and i'm like what 
I told him thank you so much. He's like, no worries. May God bless him abundantly, wherever you are. I wish I was able to put him on this video so you guys could see, but yo, but yo, God just bless him. I don't know if it's a Zambian thing, if you guys are kind like that, or it was that guy in particular. So I feel so blessed. God bless you. Yes, the same, same potato potato. I think it's chicken in, but African version. Finally, the moment I have been waiting for. Ah, we've come to the devil's pool, at least the entrance. <laughs> yes, the plan is to tick this off my bucket list. So let's see how it goes. I want to say a big thanks to Rutoka Tours and Travels. Um, if you want to travel with them, I'm going to leave the link in the description box. Click, get in touch with them. They're going to take you around to four countries in four days. Right, so the island we'll be going to, it is not far away from here. Yeah, it is right on top of the Victoria Falls. Uh, it is called Livingstone Island. The reason why that's where David Livingstone was taken to see the falls for the first time on the 16th of November, 1855. And getting there, they paddled him using wooden dugout canoes that was by the help of local people. Yeah, our boat ride is approximately six minutes. Then on the way, the boat driver will be making zigzags, meandering. So don't worry, that's the way they avoid rocks and also to challenge the current. When we get there, there will be a welcome drink. Then you head to the dining area where we have lockers for variables. Just carry your camera for pictures. And taking pictures, we use your own uh, camera. Though we are not professional photographers, but we've been doing this for many years. So I'll ask you while you're still there, check the photos. Okay. To make sure you're happy with them. If there's any query, we can still sort it out that side. Then you go back to the hotel and complain about the photos. Uh -huh. It will be difficult for us. Okay. Yeah, then after the swim, there will be high tea snacks and the bar yeah which are all inclusive with your package thank you so much yes uh, do you have any question mm, um you know there are people who might be scared because that's one thing i've, all, I've wanted to do for a long time going to the devil's pool so is there a reason to be scared has anyone ever fallen we've never had an accident before okay yeah you know to, to be scared it's a, it's a natural thing but uh, no one does that for themselves. We are always there. We have people to help you. Okay. Yeah. Even those who cannot swim at this time of the of the year, well, that's the way we can help you to reach there. Thank using, you so much. I appreciate. You are welcome. Okay. Yeah, you are, you are. Sign at your own risk. So I sign here. Oh yeah. Your signature there. I'm being told this is the dining area. This is where we'll come to eat when we come from the Devil's Pool. Here, yeah, you leave your valuables in here, okay? Just uh, leave your, your bag here and uh, get the phone. For the so, we lock the box, okay? I'm good, guys. Uh, see the falls, we are at the edge. I know if my dad is watching this video, he's freaking out. Dad, I'm safe, don't you worry. We have lifeguards here. And there are people who are even further inside. Me, I'm still, you know, but I'm literally at the edge of the falls. This is crazy. So this is a group of me. So let me cross over to where they are. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay, so just a quick breath. So listen very careful. So that's the pool over there. It's about four or five meters deep. No champion, no delicate. Oh, we got the edge. I'm sure you see now everybody's doing it. Come down here, you squat, you slide to the edge. When you sit on the edge, please pick your legs down very tight. Don't look to the edge. You need to let the parent throw you over. So all the time, let's go. And in the pool, small fish will be like limping your legs. They are not dangerous. All you do, just cover your legs and the fish will go away. So no matter what, you don't go that way. Open and the is Once you go there, that's I have a question. Why is it called the Devil's Pool? Sorry? Why is this called the Devil's Pool? The last part of the falls is called the Devil's Gatchet. Okay. So that's why it's called its name. Okay. Yes. Thank you.
so many of you guys were so concerned wondering how i got to the age well hmm this is it <laughs> this is how we get to the age the water was super cold and we just had to listen to the instructions i won't lie my heart was pounding so hard i was super scared but um i had to i mean you have one life so you need to take risks but some people say you have one life so protect it question is which one are you <laughs> this is hands down the craziest thing i have ever done and i i hope it's going to be the last one i don't want to keep doing crazy things i don't want to push my luck you know um but i'm so glad to be doing this this is amazing it's thrilling man oh my goodness see the guy left me i'm all alone at the edge okay <laughs> yo guys oh my goodness what wow let me know if you will do this or if you have done this i mean this this is amazing and this is on the zambian side right opposite is zimbabwe so we could see this side from the zimbabwe end um so yeah i don't know what you guys think which side has a better view <laughs> I just went to the devil's pool. Oh my god. Okay, my hair is still wet. But that was amazing. Oh my god. So I was with a group of guys from Barbados and uh, the US. And um, we ended, they were so friendly. God bless them. We ended up talking about Barbados. Told them I've been to Barbados. I've been to the US as well. It was amazing. Oh my god. So i'm freezing man the water was cold and they're telling me that people who cross over at 7 a.m in the morning i'm like hell no hell no so yeah but it's so worth it man it's so worth it i'm so happy so let's cross over and have some food so this experience you don't just get to come to the devil's pool after that they treat you they give you food Ooh, i almost fell let me just put the phone away this guy over here he was walking at the edge Oh my Hello. god. He was walking at the edge of the waterfall. He's the one who took the photos for me, the photos and the videos. And then he's I gave him the phone. So he crossed over with it. Are you not scared? No, I'm not. I've wow. used it. I've done this for 11 years. 11 years? Yeah. He was so comfortable. He was standing taking the best photos. Yo, respect. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so here we have the plaque of Livingstone. Uh, 16th of November 1855, that's when Livingston came on this island. Okay. And uh, he did not discover the falls, he was just a white, first white man to see the falls. I like Our that. He was brought here by local people to come and see the falls. I like that. And uh, the best day he came here, he named it Victoria Falls after Queen Victoria of England, but it has the local name known as Otunia, meaning the smoke that thunders. And uh, the falls stretches 1.7 kilometers wide. Okay. It's up inside. Babu side, the Mao and the quarter. The highest point is this side, it's 108 meters. Oh, this is the highest point? Yes, 108 meters, 324 feet. Okay. By the time we reach October, November, this part will be totally dry. Oh, really? So the reason why, those are the two driest months of the year. October and November? Yes. And now we have the canals that side diverting water to the power station for hydroelectricity. Okay. April, May, June, July, water comes up here. Oh wow! Oh, so all this will have water. Water flowing, one kitchen of falling water from this point to the mainland. There, five. But I guess at that time you will close the Devil's Pool, right? Yeah, the Devil's Pool is closed by then because because of security yeah, reasons. So I came at the perfect time. This is a good time to 
to the devil's pool we do the devil's pool during the low season oh nice yes. okay and, uh, that's a beautiful view it's down there you see that depression there yeah that's the angel's pool when there's too much water in the devil's pool we take people to the angel's pool okay right ah so the there yeah? Yeah. oh nice right so we walk down there for pictures This is the best view of the Victoria Falls, this side of Zambia. Otherwise, the best side of the view is on the uh, Zimbabwe side. That's according to me. Oh, wow. Okay. So there is a boat in there. Water boat. Ah, okay. And down there, that's where they start white water rafting for. Oh. So even now, guys do white water rafting? Yes. The water is not too low. No, it's not a good time to do the white water rafting. Okay. Again, when there's too much water, it's not good to do the white water rafting. Okay. All the rapids will be covered in the water. Ah. Uh, good time. There are rapids. The river has got uh, 25 rapids. Okay. Yes. And uh, the rafting, the, the rafting is uh, graded uh, grade 5. Grade so, 5? Yeah. So. What does grade 5 mean? Uh, not so hard or very hard? It's uh, very hard. Oh wow! Yeah, but uh, the hardest is grade six, but okay. this one is grade uh, five. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so when you sit here, I take one of you. Okay. Guys, so where there is lot of water is right where we have come from. This is another side of the vehicle. This is not where we were. Um, yeah, that's why you might think the water isn't as much. It was right behind us where the water was so, so heavy yeah okay guys so we're here to have some food i am back um, yeah let's see what they have for us Guys, so done with the devil's pool. I'm back here to get my vest. Life jacket, should I say? Oh, okay. Well, in the Guys, so coming here, uh, we had to take a small boat. And we also had life jackets. But unfortunately, I deleted the footage by mistake. Oh, my so bad. been amazing. We are going back to where we started. And then I think I'm going to be crossing over to the Zimbabwe side. Whew, we did it. We did it. Gosh, I hope I don't have hair in my underarms. 